80% of the ads running as of yesterday were all scammers. Wait, no way, boy. What up, my Rapid Gang? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Beat Stars scammer problem Bruh. that could really affect you. And you need to be careful, you need to know this because it's really an issue. As an artist like you, and I've usually produced my own stuff in house, I got my right hand guy, but sometimes for inspiration, I just go listen to see what some other people got. And when I did this the other day, not an exaggeration, 16 out of the 20 beats that played as ads to me were all scammers. Cheater. And that's why I'm trying to protect you here. Cause I don't want you to buy a beat and then not even be a real license. Forget all that. I don't even want the scammer having any, any money. Okay. Cause these people mess it up for people who really help people like me. Okay. So I have to make a video about this issue. I also made a video on smart beat maker, which is my other channel to help producers protect themselves as well with this. Let them know that this exists. Here's what's happening. These scammers are going and seeing the beats that have the most streams, the ones that play as an ad consistently. And they're taking those beats. They're creating a bunch of fake profiles profiles and they're putting the beats on those pages and then they're running the ads from those pages to make money. Now, you're probably like, how do they know it's gonna make money? Well, they know it's gonna make money because if you have a producer that has spent a ton of money to get a million plays on a beat, he or she wouldn't keep doing that if it wasn't profiting, which tells any scammer that, hey, if I run ads to this beat that's already profiting, people are gonna buy this. And I know that this guy, Whoa. girl, Whoa. team, Whoa. different people are picking up on this and scammers are starting to do this because for the last two years, I've been seeing this happen. Are you serious? But I was seeing it in small amounts, maybe one every, you know, 10. Now only two out of every 10 are even real, Damn, right? Son. Eight out of 10, 80% of the ads running as of yesterday were all scammers. Wait, no way, boy. It's infuriating. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to protect yourself because you do still need to be buying these licenses if you want to release these songs and to be giving the producer the money that they deserve for the hard work they put into these beats. But I want to make sure you're giving the money to the right people and I want to make sure you're getting a real license so that later when your song blows up, they can't be like, you didn't buy a license. I'm like, I bought the license. Then they be like, that wasn't me. Then you're gonna have to pay a lot more money, okay? Then you're gonna have legal issues. I don't want you to have those problems, all right? So here's how you can protect yourself and identify if it's a real producer selling this beat, okay? First of all, the indicators to me that they were clearly fake profiles, which I've been seeing for the last couple of years whenever I noticed these, is that it only has one to three beats on the page. They don't seem to build out the page any more than that. It's really lazy. It's probably because it has a deletion rate, but BeatStars cannot keep up with it. Their systems are not set like that. It's extremely, it's just not how their system's built. They don't, it's just a simple infrastructure for them to make money and it does what it's supposed to do. Beyond that, they really don't have a way to protect artists Ew. or even producers from this happening. All they can do is delete them when they get reported. So whenever I come across them, I report them. You should do the same thing as well as the Instagram or any of the profile connected to these to help protect artists like me and you as well as help protect the actual productions of these producers that are the ones that made the actual thing, the thing people with the talent, okay? So for you to be able to identify that, if it has less than three beats on it, it's probably not a real producer because me, I make five beats in a day, right? And I'm not even a full-time producer. I just produce for myself. Imagine how many beats a normal producer can make, right? They have more than three beats online. They're not going to start up a beat store and not put at least the 10 on the free version of it that they could put, all right? So that's one. Number two is if all of their beats have less than 5,000 streams on them, on BeatStars, it might be a fake profile. That's not a 100% indicator, but if it has that many streams on it and there's only three beats, chances are it was a scammer profile. Cheater. Okay, next, if all the beats on the profile are super crazy good, it's probably a scam artist because not everybody's beats are consistently that good. So if they have five beats and they're like, oh, these all sound like hit songs, chances are you didn't just come across the next Timbaland or Metro Boomin, chances are is they stole the beats from Timbaland and Metro Boomin and they all put them on a page because they're just jacking all of these beats. <laughs> jacking all of these beats. Okay, I'm done. Pause, bro. Anyway. So another way that you can tell if it's a real person is you actually go and you look at their website. Do they have something connected? Do they have an Instagram connected? Go look at that Instagram. It seems like a lot of them are the same person, but then there's also other ones that are different that are scamming or actually leading to the same Instagram profile, which I think is just stupid and lazy and a clear way to identify if it's a scammer. Okay, so go to their website, go see if they have real producer credits, go to their Instagram, okay? Make sure that the tag on the beat may be like prophecy beats or something like that. I keep seeing these scammer pages, it'll be like, prophecy boots, and the freaking, and then on the name, it's like, it's like jump starter beats. And then like, that doesn't, that, that's, that's a that's a red flag right there, right? So listen for the tag, make sure that the tag name matches the name of the profile. Realistically, the amount of beats on the page, the amount of plays, how long ago the beat was put up there, that's another indicator because 
the beats being up for a while means that the page was not reported or not put up as a scam. So if they have a long history of uploading beats for a long time, it's probably a real page, all right? Another thing that I found interesting was BeatStars would delete the profile some of these profiles would get deleted because obviously people who noticed it were reporting it and it would still play the ad to get the money from the person who was scamming. Hold it up. would still play that ad, but then when you clicked it, it went to a profile that was deleted. I just thought that was funny. But the problem is, is that out of all of these that I came across, only a few of them were actually deleted, which means that chances are, if you're hearing ads on BeatStars, you're hearing these scammers, okay? Just wanna let you know about that so that you can protect yourself, okay? And you know I very rarely do much self-promo in videos, but right now I have something that I'm a part of that's it's not gonna last very long. Right now, you can get a Rick Ross feature, a Sean Kingston feature, and a Dizzy Wright feature all in the same bundle for less than 200 bucks. And if you were to get another artist that you know or a producer that you know to go in with it on you, it'd be less than 100 bucks for each of you. And then you'd both have a feature for major artists. You'd have features on the top of your Spotify. You have people taking you more seriously. And I just want you to know that that is available. I'll put links below this video so that you can actually go and check that out. But you gotta remember, it's contractually binding that this can only be sold in a specific time window. Okay, so if you don't get it now, you're not gonna be able to get it. Links for that are gonna be in the description as well as the top comment. And after that changes, I'll still redirect it to any other deal that I see that I trust that looks like it's gonna be a good benefit for you, okay? So click that link, check it out, get your hands on that, have that major feature, make people start taking you more seriously. Share this information with producers, you know, share this information with other artists just to protect them and make sure they're doing their due diligence to look for these red flags on BeatStars, okay? Protect yourself, do what you can. And if you see any of these guys, report them so the BeatStars can do what they can to help you, okay? Either way, all right, yeah, click those links below. Top comment and the description. I'm Rob Level. This is Smart Rapper. You just got a little bit smarter. Keep hustling, gang. And I'll see you at the top.